All right, the court is calling 2023 CR 1121, State of Texas versus Javon Lamar Crockett. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? We're going to for the state. Defense. Leslie Sahanovich, Mr. Crockett. Are you Mr. Crockett? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Crockett, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with assault, family choking, strangulation, and they're charging this as a second because of a previous family violence conviction? So that makes it a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, court could find you guilty, sentence you up to 20 years in prison? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, I don't have an ignore. I don't have his application. Did he do an application? Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, he has, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? He does, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Crockett, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, the state is proceeding on count one. They're recommending deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration county court cause number 6972546976688. There's an affirmative finding of family violence and no contact with Kayla. K-A-Y-L-A, Verlander, V-E-R-L-A-N-D-E-R. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated as primary custodial parent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that to be the entirety of the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense, is that the plea? Yes, sir. State, is that the plea? Yes, ma'am. Outside the agreement, the state is recommending that your deferred adjudication be for a term of two years and there be anger management counseling. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those yes. recommendations? Then to count one, how do you plead true or not? I'm sorry, guilty, not guilty or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? State offers state's exhibit one and all no, no objection. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and the review the same. All right, after viewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, we are. We're with PSI. All right, why should I accept this plea? Yeah, Your Honor, I think this is a fair uh, plea based on the evidence for the court. And uh, we, have, we have talked to the state about this and uh, we're going to to the term. State, have you spoke to the complainant? We've uh, made multiple attempts to speak with the complainant. We've been unsuccessful in those attempts. Um, there is certain facts from the case that I feel uh, was, would prevent us from overcoming our burden. Um, so even mm -hmm. with All right. All right. Court's going to you, sentence you to eight years deferred adjudication. Taking consideration, county court cause number 697254. 697688. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Kayla Verlander. There's to be a TAP evaluation while in custody. Follow all TAP recommendations. The BIPP course, regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Um, we're going to do the UA hotline upon release until further notice. 
Do you have any children? Yes, ma'am. They're 26 and 23. They're both married. All right. 200 hours of community service restitution. Do you have a place to stay if you're released from yes, custody? Yes, ma'am. And who or would you be staying with? I would stay with my house, in my house. All right. Anyone else lives there? Uh, my mother. All right. So is that your house or is yes, your mom's house? Both stay, I stay on one side of the house. She stays on the other side of the house. All right. Does your mom want you there? Yes, ma'am. Have you asked her? We lived together for over 30 years, ma'am. Okay, so I'll take that as a no. You have not asked her. Sometimes no, I haven't. Heard. I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't have to ask her because I live there. I mean, we've been living together for thirty years, so. So you own the house. So yes, ma'am, we own our house. Okay. We're gonna do field visits one time per month. Proof of employment within thirty days of release. No employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court? I don't know. All right. Showing you was entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yeah. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. You're gonna have to make changes in your life. You have to stop using drugs. And when you are ever in a relationship and you feel the need to express yourself violently, you shouldn't be in that relationship. You understand? Yes. All right, good luck to you. Is calling 2023 CR1121 State of Texas versus Javon Crockett. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? For the defense. Uh, Leslie Sahamovich for Mr. Crockett. All right. And are you Mr. Crockett? Yes, ma'am. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision and First Amendment Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt? and revoke community supervision with your attorney. Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Are you the same Javon Crockett who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2023 CR1121 for the offense of assault, family choking, strangulation on June 6, 2023 for a period of eight years? Yes, ma'am. State? Moving forward with condition number 33, the first one, on or about the eighth day of August, 2023, in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Javon Crockett, failed to submit your analysis test in violation of condition number 33. How do you plead to that, true or not true? True. If you violate condition number 33, on or about the 14th day of August, 2023, in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Javon Crockett, failed to submit your analysis test in violation of condition number 33. How do you plead to that, true or not true? True. They will be waiving the remaining filing. Any objection to the state's waivers? No, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of conditions 33 and 33, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violations 33 and 33? Yes, ma'am. Court will find 33 and 33 true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Judge. We ask the court grant the motion, revoke this community's provision, and sentence him to five years CPC. As part of the agreement, the state will be taken into consideration. Case number 2024, PF 16309 is updated by D. Is that the proposed agreement? That's, that's proposed. Are you asking the court to follow that agreement? Yes, ma'am. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. Court will find 33 true, 33 true. The court will find you guilty, revoke, taking consideration 2024 PF 1639. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Kayla, K A Y L A, Verlanda, V E R L A N D E R. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, Counsel, Thank because you. this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felon, 
felony conviction and also an affirmative finding of family violence. You're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And of course, counsel, uh, I gave your client credit for any time that he has been in custody. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing. The complainant in this case wants nothing else to do with you. She doesn't know you. You don't know her. Mm -hmm. That relationship is over. If you insist that that relationship is not over, you're going to find yourself right back here and perhaps going to a prison for longer. You understand? Oh, we've been All right. Make sure it stays that way. Yes, and don't get involved with a relationship until you get an orchid and that orchid reblooms. You yes, understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Judge, I'm sorry. Yes. What was the sentence? Uh, oh, thank you so much. See, what did you all agree to for sentence? Five years. Thank you, Bashan. Five years, TDC. Thank you. All right, good luck. Bashan, he was going to go to prison and people would say, we don't know what the sentence is.